Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. So today we're going to take a look at my gauge version of the backlit information panel. Similar to the Sitec BIP panel, uh, this is done within a FIP. So in the FIP version of the BIP, you have 12 plates that you can configure. And each of these can contain one of 59 different functions. Uh, that may very well go up in numbers, but at the moment we're at 59 different functions. Okay, so let's get on to what the buttons do. So S1, that will bring up the menu, but only while the normal flight panel is open. So let's just turn it off in a moment, and we'll go to S2. That brings up the editing mode, where you can assign functions to plates. And S3 is the warning variable menu where you're can able to change the thresholds of when the alarms come up. So you've got the temperature warning, um, the pressure warning, the vac, low fuel warning, rotor warning, and the low voltage warning. So you can set those values in this menu. Okay, so S1 will take you back to the normal flight mode. But if you press S1 again, you get into the gauges mini menu. So the options in here, you've got the version number and you have the edit plates. That basically takes you to the S2. Um, you've got the edit warnings that basically takes you to the, the S3 page. And last but not least is the glass reflections, which you can turn on and off. There we go. So S1 again, we'll turn off the menu. Okay, so obviously we need to program these plates. So you press S2 to go into programming mode. And you have a, a plate selector. And you simply turn the left dial to select the plate that you want to edit. And then you select the right dial to change the function. So you can see the function number up in the corner. And we'll set the gear to gear up. And here we're going to select that to gear on safe. And here we'll set that one to gear down. Okay. And we'll select some other ones while we're here. So I'm going to put spoiler armed. And we can also do autopilot. Okay, so we can make these green, yellow, or red plates. So you simply need to press the S6 button to change the color of the current highlighted plate. So I want the gear on safe to be red. So you select the plate and hit S6, and you can change the color of that warning plate. Okay, so let's select a few more. What have we got in here? So we've got parking brake. Yeah, we'll have that one, but we'll change that to red. In fact, I'll change that to yellow. And then we can select another plate. You can put me panel lights. Panel lights. And what else can we have? Uh, GPS, that's for uh, whether the nav or GPS is driving the nav. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. So let's see, when we go to S3, we can change the variables. So it'd be a good idea, I suppose, if I selected one that is in this list. So we've got the low voltage is currently set to 22. So I'm gonna go back to here and we will set one of these plates for volts that's fuel okay so now we've set the low voltage uh, function we can now go back to s3 and we can change the voltage here now the left dial will select the variable that you want to edit and the right dial will select the value. 
so at the moment what we can do is we can set the value below my current voltage which is 30 volts and when you go back to the main plate you can see the low voltage lights not lit so when we come back to the threshold screen and we set that threshold over 30 then when we come back you can see the low voltage warning light is now on and that works similar for all the other variables you set that threshold once it drops below or above for the temperature then the lights will come on okay so i've got my autopilot which i can turn on and off and i've got my panel lights as you can see the color changes with panel lights as it does with my other gauges and i can turn my gps drives nav on and that comes up as well and what else do we program and we've got the parking brake so parking brake on and off and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to chuck the aircraft up in the air okay so i've put my aircraft 10,000 feet up so um, i've armed my spoilers so that they would deploy uh, when i hit the ground my autopilot is on my gps is active and now i'm going to raise my undercarriage so you can see it changes from down to unsafe and when the gear's fully up you can see that will change to gear up okay so in reverse now i can drop my gear we get the gear unsafe notification and then we get the gear down notification so there's a useful uh, function for the gear speed and when that is set and then we over speed the gear that warning light will light as well so it's just a case of just going through all the various different functions that are available so for a full list so you know how to find things easier um, that is actually published on my store for the gauge if you bring out the reference guide then you can access the list or alternatively you just press the manual button um, against the gauge in spat.next and that will bring up the manual and reference as well so you can see the list of all the functions there feel free to send me um, any requests for functions that i've missed i can certainly add new functions in the future so it's not limited to the 59 i can add them in so feel free to give me a shout and i'm more than happy to add those in for you okay so i'm not going to cover every single function right now but i will quickly show you the functions that are currently available as of today but please bear in mind that that list may very well increase for the future and the new ones will be added to the function list on the manual so we'll quickly go to editing mode and we can see that we have parking brake panel lights beacon lights nav lights logo lights strobe lights taxi lights landing lights wing lights com1 com2 nav1 nav2 gps we've got nav autopilot flight director uh, that's the marker that's dme sound adf sound outer marker middle marker inner marker the gear down the gear unsafe and gear up we have the fuel low warnings we have engine fire so that will light with a fire on any engine then you've got the individual engine fire notifications you've got the low vac the all pressure so that's low all pressure on any engine and once again you've got the individual engine or pressure warnings as well so you've got the oil temp same thing individual engines and or any engine you've got the stall warning a terrain warning door open warning low rotor rpm pit up heat you've got flaps that tells you where the flaps are engaged at any amount uh, the hook if you do carry landings uh, we have the spoiler that says if the spoiler is deployed and whether your spoiler is armed you have a low voltage warning over speed warning uh, whether your ap generator is on your water rudder and we have dis your gear speed warning and currently we have the slew active as the last one but as i said that's the short list we can certainly add to that if i've missed anything please let me know if i have okay so i hope you find this gauge useful uh, I'm already using it quite a bit in my flights and um, come back check out some of my other videos and see you soon bye for now